In this week's parasha, parasha of Ki there's a very interesting verse that reads as follows. Lo taharosh beshor uvahamor yahadab. When you have a field and you want to plow the field, you shall not plow the field with an ox and a donkey together. What is the reason? The sages say because their powers and strength are not compatible. They are not the same. Each one would pull in a different speed, in a different manner. This would cause them a lot of frustration. And uh, it is a biblical obligation to be concerned about the welfare of animals and not cause unnecessary pain and suffering from a, for an animal, which is called tsar ba'ale hayim, suffering of an animal. And thus one is not allowed to partner them together because it would cause them to be frustrated and, uh, and unnecessary anguish. From here we learn the importance of unity and how you have to partner the right people together. And so too in regards to partnership. Partnering people together is very important and that they are compatible. Because if they are compatible, then there will be unity. And if there is unity, there is blessing. I'm reminded of an interesting story that took place between Napoleon and the Tsar. As you know, that they were waging a battle against each other. And Napoleon sent a message saying that since I have the greatest of horses, the fastest of horses, a collection of the best horses from all over the world, surely I will win the battle. In those days, an army was measured by the strength of the soldiers, and by the strength of their horses. The stronger and faster the horses, the more um, powerful the army and their success assured. The Tsar sent back a message, said, Indeed, you have a collection of the finest horses from all over the world. But nonetheless, we will still beat you in battle. And the reason is that although our horses are inferior in quality, but they all come from the same place and they all speak the same language. They all understand each other and they will all march in unison. And because of their unity, they will beat you in battle. Here is an important lesson that we learn of unity. Every single day we turn to Hashem and we say, Hashem bless us in unison, bless us because of our unity. The power of the Jewish people has always been their unity. As individuals, we may be possibly weak, we may be deficient in our service of God. But together as a nation, when we bind together and are united, our power is immeasurable. One time there were two people who came to a rabbi to write them a, um, a, a deed, a contract for their partnership. And the rabbi wrote four Hebrew letters, Aleph, Bet, Gimel and Dalet, and he asked them to sign. And they both signed, but they said, Rabbi, what, con what kind of contract is this? We never saw a contract like this before in our lives. There's no stipulations, there's no conditions, just four Hebrew letters and sign. And the Rabbi said, absolutely. Because those four letters represents the essence of a partnership. Aleph stands for Ahava. And if there's Ahava, if there's love, and if there's unity between the partners, then the next letter is Bet, that stands for Beracha, which is blessing and success. The next letter is Gimel. Gimel means Geneva. If one seeks to outdo the other one, steal from the other one, and rip the other one off, then the next letter is Daled, which spells the word or stands for the word Dalut, which means poverty. If there is love, there is success. If there is unity, there is blessing. If there is animosity, if people are not uh, compatible, then this is a recipe of disaster. And this is what we learn from this week's parasha, simply from that of a donkey and an ox, that they are not partnered, to get, part, not partnered, partnered together to avoid frustration. And so too, we must always try and avoid frustration from, from people and always try and be unified. In the merit of unity, may Hashem barachenu kulanu yahadav, may Hashem bless us together, all in unison, and due to our unity, bring the righteous redeemer speedily. Amen. Shabbat shalom to one and all.